Hi everybody, it's June 13, 2021. I posted this video earlier. A wall nano cloud said that I was going to be posting a video later explaining why I believe these clouds are manufactured via nanotechnology. Got a lot of comments um, and I want to read one and I want to thank Beverly for writing it, but I also don't want to leave out another subscriber had left a comment <clears throat> saying that it was fire extinguisher foam, just as Beverly did. And I'm going to play part three of her video where she talks about how it is fire extinguisher foam. She spoke to the fire chief or someone in the fire department, and they said, based on perfect atmospheric conditions, something like that, that it literally comes up from the ground. You know, when they use this foam, it sinks into the ground. And perfect atmospheric conditions or something like that, um, it starts coming back up. He said it was perfectly safe. That doesn't sound very safe, but um, it was Beverly who left a comment before this one, and she worked in a chemical, a chemical company for about 15 years as a control coordinator, I think. If I've forgotten anything, if I'm not quite right, Beverly, I'm sorry, but um, she said that it was 100% fire extinguisher foam. I asked her if she knew of any videos um, and she did come across some videos which I I then just went into you know looking for fire extinguisher foam videos I couldn't find one you know that was similar to what we saw in this video but um, but she also left me the third part of this TikTok video and Thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it when people um, take it upon themselves to do some research and provide a link. But I responded with, I have to wonder, and maybe you can speak to this, if any fire extinguisher foams are made with nanotechnologies and her response, Beverly's response, yes, they are. And look who is involved. Well, I also did earlier research on nanotechnology. And the first, the first search result was exactly this. Nanotechnology, okay, um, it can be used for fire suppression systems using various chemical mixtures broken down to particle size to better extinguish the fire. Um, FEMA, U.S. Fire Administration, working for a fire safe America, usfa.fema.gov, using nanotechnology to minimize fire damage. Nanotechnology is used in pretty much everything today. Okay, um, I will link below. You can, I didn't read the whole thing. I just came across this one line. The reason why, uh, whether it's fire extinguisher foam or nanobots that had literally fallen from the atmosphere, which, <sighs> yes, Research answered my question. Nanobots do fall from our atmosphere, but don't worry, they're all safe. So I'll show you the signatures that I saw that led me to believe it was nanotechnology. Um, and then I will play part three of this woman's video. But here, um, I thought it was interesting that it took on this kind of shape 
and took on a very defined um, shape. This is the foam that apparently has come up through the ground. Okay. I don't know, but... So, let me... Okay. Um, we'll go to the next one. Okay. Can you see there is a faint red tint? Now, this red tint is in the thick portion, but it's also at the rim of this foam. Um, and all right, well, this is a better one. Um, I'd like to understand how foam that comes up from the ground takes on such a defined shape, like a right angled shape. But do you see the red here, the tint of red? Now, nanobots have their own GPS. They can emit or receive electromagnetic frequencies, data. So like the satellites up in the atmosphere, that you really get to see the difference between a star and a satellite when that satellite is active, either sending or receiving data, because they blink red or green flashing. It's a flashing red or green light. So when I saw just little bits of a red tint, I thought, okay, but also, Right here, what you see, which it, it looks almost like a string, a strand of string that comes out with those little dots. I've, I've shown this over and over and over again, but here's the nanobot strand in our atmosphere. It looks like rope, but this is a thick one and, I mean, I, if I spent more time looking at my a whole lot of videos that I have of the satellite and radar captures, yes, I have shown and I've posted videos of strands of what I believe are nanobots, strands of nanobots right at the uh, periphery of the cloud. So this was another signature that I thought, okay, this is, this is a, a, a nano cloud. Now, a fire extinguisher foam with nanotechnology? Well, could it have the same signature? Sure. But I do find it very interesting that this is, and she points it out, it, it's quite visible. So, um, yeah, and you can see, it's like just what I've pointed out in our atmosphere, all of the little, little, tiny, tiny dots that well, let me go to radar right now. Oh, it's a little bit too late to get the cloud part, but I'll bring up a video and you can see it for yourself. Um, don't want to, all right. Oh, this is 1.48 a.m. I want to get to satellite with the clouds. And boy, the nanobots are really working overtime. <laughs> 
I like this in Wyoming. Let's see. Mm. Hang on. Sparkling away are little nanobots there. Okay. So, I'll just play it one more time. Play it again, Sam. Mm. Okay. Billions of nanobots in our atmosphere for the weather terrorists to use at their pleasure. I have on my playlist weather modification um, several videos on nanotechnology and what they're doing with this nanotechnology above us above us um, so um, hmm, hang on so if you can see this it's almost like a a transparent film and a transparent film on the periphery of dots. And I also find it interesting that many of these things, you know, seem to be attracted to the bigger. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. It's literally just a semicircle. Am I looking at the right thing? Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Wait. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. But th the little pieces that were floating by seem to be attracted to that bigger piece. But other pieces were floating on by, so... Let's just see one more time. Goes right in. So for the nanobots in the atmosphere, I can say that they do have GPS. Uh, each little nanobot has its own GPS, um, and somebody at a computer way down here can fire off those nanobots and get them moving. They can send and receive data, which means they can emit electromagnetic frequencies. So we are definitely living in a whole new, a whole new world with a whole new life, and it's ugh. All right, so this is her video, part three. Ours, who works for our local department here, we're friends with all the, the fire chiefs and everything and the co town commissioners and stuff. And um, so when we saw one of our officer friends, we sent him over there to go check it out. And then we came back by and the fire department was there. Turns out the stuff is not dangerous. I originally thought it was something from like chemtrails or the stuff that they make artificial clouds with. because. Half the shit we got in our sky is fake, in my opinion. Um, but it turns out it's actually the stuff that they put out fires with. Um, this plant across the street from our house, um, the fire guy was telling us, the fire chief was telling us that um, when they are getting that stuff out of the tank to fill their fire trucks with for when they go put out fires, the stuff that leaks out onto the ground soaks into the ground around the tank <clears throat> and he said he's only seen this happen once in a blue moon so he said what happens is the atmosphere has to be perfect the temperature has to be perfect the pressure outside the humidity everything has to be just perfect and the stuff is so it is coming up out of the ground like that it's basically like a detergent of some sort that they um, used to put out fires. It's the foam that they put fires out with, basically. 
He said it's not dangerous, it's not toxic. He was out there picking it up, showing it to us. But isn't that shit cool looking, man? You know, but you always got to question everything nowadays, so. And ain't that the truth? So, okay, uh, foam coming out of the ground. Taking on a shape like this is very strange to me. Um, not saying it's not. That is definitely, uh, as far as I'm concerned, a nanotechnology signature. So that's it. I also want to um, very briefly mention something about so many comments that I received. Now, posted this video yesterday and I find it got me down to see so many people leaving these uh, comments that you know oh she's a Trump lover or she's you know look not everybody is on the same page there are still people who are very stuck in the matrix um, people who are immigrants to this country it doesn't matter because most Americans have no clue what is going on but I find it very important to circulate the voices of those who have lived the communism and who see it erupting here in the United States. To me, her end when she was talking about Trump and uh, to me, that's irrelevant. I guess, oh, purple wall, that means she's, uh, what, a shill? Okay, I can't go there. And frankly, I am tired. I have very little patience. So, Trump, you got to be kidding me. I call bullshit. Okay. Now, anybody who has been a subscriber of mine for a while, you know, I am not a Trump lover. In fact, I have a Trump playlist. And from the very beginning of the Trump administration with Trump, I was posting a whole lot of videos on he's just another guy saying an awful lot of beautiful things that the right, the Republicans want to hear. But watch what he does. Okay, um, you got to parse out what is most important. Does it surprise me that a woman from Yugoslavia who came here, you know, and um, to escape, you know, the hell that she was living, who lived, watched the communism, or actually it never really let go, apparently, in Yugoslavia, but, you know, it's, um, it's not surprising to me that immigrants, and w frankly, I'm not even sure, does, well, I think she does live in this country, but it doesn't surprise me that someone with her experience would support Trump. We're not all on the same page. I still have subscribers who support Trump. I, but, you know, to, to just start undermining everything that is spoken by somebody who supports Trump. It, you know, have you ever heard that saying, throw the baby out with the bathwater? You don't want to do that. And there were so many of them that were so, like, it was almost like they heard nothing 
but Trump. What she had to say was very important. You know, I have posted videos on, you know, immigrants who came here from China who lived under Mao, became American citizens, who are saying the same thing is happening here. Okay, communism, that they have a, well, it's, it's differently played out in whatever country you're in, but it's essentially the same playbook. So it's, it, it really is important to let go of what is insignificant and focus on what's most important. And frankly, posting this video, I thought people would get it. I really thought people would get it. Here, my parents are from the Bosnian part of Yugoslavia. They immigrated to the United States in 1997. I was born here in September of 1998. My dad is so dumbfounded at all these people who are begging for their enslavement. He had to live it. He had to live in it. He was nine years old as a kid working heavy construction and prayed to die constantly. And his life has never been better since he came here. Now sees the same thing happening all over again. And yeah, it must be incredibly hard for people who have lived in these countries, who've experienced the communism, who come to this country for freedom, and now find themselves in a country that is headed in the same direction with an awful lot of Americans who don't care. Who don't care. that we are you know, being taken over. My parents, sister, and I were able to flee Yugoslavia to the United States before the war in the 90s. She's absolutely correct. We've all been talking about how we're seeing this happening all over again. This is very serious. Be strong. God bless. And, you know, she never said, sit back and Trump is going to fix everything. That, do people, I, I have to wonder if people can listen carefully enough to actually understand. You know, she was basically saying that we have something to do here. We, the American people. But that seemed to be lost on many. I apologize. I actually paused this video for about an hour and a half. Can't remember where I left off, but I just want to read some of these comments. Um, yeah, we're not getting anywhere. We can't get anywhere. Um, Trump, you got to be kidding me. I call bullshit. You know, the, well, I am half Ukrainian. Millions died to Bolsheviks or ended up in gulags. It's a long, terrible story. My grandmother told me never to forget and was very patriotic and grateful to America because of what happened to her mother. Stay safe. You know, considering what we are facing I am so surprised at the comments. There's some other comment below that, you know, why does everybody use Nazi Germany as an example? Use, you know, the Soviet Union. That's a better example. <laughs> well, I've used a lot of examples throughout my years, and uh, 
read the Gulag Archipelago by Alexandra Solzhenitsyn. If you want to know about what was going on in the Soviet Union. Maybe she doesn't know the U.S. had its own civil war long before Yugoslavia, and it was created by the same satanic cult. Maybe Americans or many Americans already know what kind of government they have. Too bad they're not doing anything about it. She had me until Trump worship. It's too bad. One person can say something, and then everything else is just garbage to you. Dear God, please watch over the audits. Leave the, let the truth come out and justice prevail in Jesus' name. Oh, I think we have far more important things, but what do you think? <laughs> okay, so the audits um, turn out in Trump's favor. Then what? Mm, civil war? What? What's going to happen? Uh, Joe Biden's going to step down and Trump's just going to be back in the White House? I know that there are people, you know, I've heard from a subscriber who's on Twitter. That's her platform. And she tells me so many people leave comments saying Trump is going to be back in office. Well, the date seems to keep changing. I think it's September something. Please. All right. Okay. I don't I don't know what to <laughs> We're losing everything we had. It's really serious what's going on. It's really dangerous what's going on. And it's going on because we allowed it to go on. She undermined her own message by saying President Trump is on our side. Comments now, I don't know if it's everybody's using their cell phones and spelling is being changed, but I'm seeing comments now that I can't even understand. It's a damn shame when a foreigner here is more patriotic than half the people here, from here born here. Yeah, it is. Here, why is Nazi Germany always the example? Well, I guess you, and she was talking about Yugoslavia. Um, she did speak about the National Socialist in Germany, and why aren't I getting comments with people just saying, holy shit, Man, do we have to unite. Man, do we have to do something. Well done, except for Trump. That I can handle. Do you think I liked hearing all the Trump stuff? But it didn't render everything that she said insignificant. She's selling hopium, and I ain't buying. She didn't sell any hopium. She very clearly stated that, uh, well, I'll paraphrase, uh, Americans, you really mm, need to do something. She wasn't saying sit back and let Trump, you know, fix everything. Lost me on Trump. My family emigrated from Croatia. We know this scam. God bless her. See, people who know it don't leave these comments. We don't know it. So we're real comfortable still. This lady knows better than at least 40% of Americans. Uh, that's a high percentage, I think. You are slipping, Carol. Her message at the end deserved a disclaimer. It is important to vote and support Trump. She never said anything about voting for Trump. Um, you know, I'm not even sure she said anything about telling people to support Trump. You know, she was telling Americans that we need to, you know, fight for our First Amendment and, well, okay. 
You lost me at the end. Goodbye. I cannot believe that people still think Trump is their savior. Ah, oh, how sad that that is what everybody picked up. Oh, love your channel, but draining the swamp, in my humble opinion, was a, I guess, a psyop, sign up. Um, yeah. She posted that video. She has no clue. She's just, you know, she, she uh, was acting. And boy, did she do a good accent, didn't she? The U.S. is not the greatest country in the world. I live here, and it's all a scam. Well, too friggin' bad. You haven't done anything to manifest what it could have been because no other country had a constitution like the United States Ooh, throughout history. No other country experienced the freedom that we did experience here. And don't tell me nothing has changed. We've never had freedom. Bullshit. What are you, the gaslighters? Are you, you know, part of the tens of thousands into the hundreds of thousands of operatives that we've got working here in this country? That's another video I've got to post. So she had me until Trump. Oh, this video was ruined with Trump's name. Take all that back. She supports Trump, Trump, Trump. And you aren't going to stop what's coming. Don't be foolish. So sit back, entertain yourself, do nothing. We've been a do-nothing people forever. What do you think got us right here? Hell, they've been telling us for a long time what they plan on doing. You know, what is that, that, that satanic karma whatever the hell these nutcases are. They got to tell people what they're going to do before they do it. And they're uh, absolved of their crimes, absolved of any karma, because, hey, I told you, you let it happen. Well, we let it happen. So I have to wonder why why do I even bother doing this? I do it because I think it's important. But man, you know, well, hell, look, all the people who were so hung up on Trump, frankly, I'm not even sure you care about what's happening and you wouldn't do anything anyway, yeah. I'm going to unsubscribe. I can't believe you said that. Go ahead. 